Hello and welcome back to a new episode from Wargame Red Dragon playing the South Korean campaign. Now the war is is getting is getting harder because um, Russian troops have already been deployed as well as Chinese troops. Take a look at these Russian troops for example. There's Russian aviation so soon there will be a huge war and there will be huge battles right here in North Korea. I will try however to capture as much as I can with everything I've got right here in Pyongyang, Sonchon and everywhere else and I'm gonna try to deploy as many troops as possible including some navy battles and so on so it's gonna be incredibly interesting. Now let's go on to the next turn and let's see what the computer will do. Kremlin is raising the stakes and has placed its European forces in a state of alert. They are worried in Washington. They give you five days, turn 22, to meet your objective. Let's end this while we still have control over things. Turn 22, okay. Turn 18, so it seems they are going to have to capture that. Oh, they have attack. Pushed led by the Chinese government to a North Korean official has succeeded. Kim, Kim Il-sung and his entourage are now under Chinese protection. Oh, they have attack, actually. That is wonderful. Um, I mean, f f f again, the job done, I think, will will, uh, will mean to capture Chanchon, I think. Yeah, I have another four turns, and this game will be completely over, unfortunately, and it was so nice. So, what am I going to do now? It seems that, that the Russians have decided not to attack yet, but take a look what they have, um, what they have uh, deployed here. Take a look at this artillery. TOS Buratino. BM-30. Oh my god. Malka. Tank destroyers. BMPT. Was concourse and MTLB. Jesus. Another Gold Stung Regiment with T64 and T72s. That doesn't seem to be that. Another Air Defense with Tungushka. Which is incredible. And, uh, well, take a look at this one. 9K37. Wells, Sukhoi 27 and Q5 and billions of tank regiments. Oh, they, they have decided not to attack yet. And this is interesting, I have to say. They have invaded here with an aviation regiment. I mean the Ch the Chinese. There is here with an infantry regiment. Also, these are the Chinese. They don't really want to attack even farther. Very, very strange. Now, let's try to do something and embark these guys and send them on a battlefront. These guys will just stay in defense here and if they will be neat, they will uh, support other troops. They might attack here in uh, Tanjon. There will be huge battles if they will do so. Now, let's see. I mean, it will be very easy for me to finish the game. I just capture Chanchon and everything will be over as far as I'm concerned. So. I'm just not going to do that right now. Um, they pose no threat on the, on the sea right now. Because they just have only these fleets, but they don't have any marine regiments. Actually, they have some marine regiments, I think. Aviation regiments, actually. Right there, one, and I think they had another one. They have a lot of troops in Pyongyang now. They have arrived with infantry and tanks and everything. Tank regiment, they have deployed another infantry regiment right there. And another Flying Dragon special regiment right there. So it's gonna be a little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous. Now let's see what we have here. Right, great. Let's see if I can refit the guys. No, not yet. I'm gonna be to refit them next turn. So let's roll with the fleet here and try to knock down the Chinese fleet, probably. I think that what the Chinese are trying to do here is that they are trying to keep my, my forces um, busy tagging with this infantry and whatever troops. This way actually I think they are trying to do nothing more because they have no chance doing something else. And for me trying to give a counter attack such as for example attacking here it's gonna be of course very difficult because I mean take a look what troops they have here. So much cohesion, so much morale and everything else. T-72s and everything. It's gonna be extremely difficult. Of course I could deploy my marines and everything but it will still be very difficult. However, let's see what troops I have here, and I could perhaps give it a risk. So for example, I could leave in defense, because they could, in the worst case, they could uh, totally defeat me here, and then attack again here. So, here they cannot attack, except, except for some 
uh, air regiment or something, but they don't have something like that here. I could leave behind Royal Australian Division and Armour Regiment, K1, whatever. And I could attack with Marines, with all the American troops I have right here. And actually this is what I'm gonna do, because I really want to risk and take out the Soviets a little bit. However, they have these magnificent airplanes, and it's gonna be extremely difficult. Not to mention they have a lot of tanks. Billions of tanks they have artillery belonging to uh, North Koreans. One, two, they have two, three tank divisions, including this Chinese tank. It's going to be like almost impossible to do something. But it's going to be interesting enough, I guess. If they have plenty of helicopters, they will perhaps send pretty cool helicopters, actually, let's see if I have any anti-air troops. Oh, yes, I do actually have two of them. Yeah, they're gonna be completely destroyed there, no problem at all. Um, so, actually, I'm thinking to send these guys, let's import them. Which is a sector area. Oh, yes. Right, and... So I cannot assign them, I cannot send them anywhere. I'd like to send them right there, I could also not assign it. So, oh, whatever, it was a waste, a huge waste of time. These guys can't send them anywhere. So there's these guys here on Seoul and so on, so I really have to assign them here. And this guy is just going to leave them right there, I can assign these guys here. Perhaps after that I'm going to be able to send them even farther, not actually very farther, not farther enough. That means I'm going to let them where they are. The Chinese still didn't deploy any new troops. And let's see what's going on here. I'm going to refit them next turn, all of them actually. And I'm going to continue my advance here, although perhaps I'm not going to be there in time. Right. So I'll do what, what I said I will do. Let's give let's tr let's give it a try here. So let's advance with everything I got. Armor regiment, Marines regiment, the Sol regiment, everything that the Americans have the best. I can also deploy the um, the Nighthawks and I can also tag with them. Let's see. Oh yes, also also there. So let's deploy them and Let's... Send, no, unfortunately I cannot send them now. It's too early to send them. Oh, this is just so bad, but I really need some aviation here. For example, some interceptors. Let's send these guys here, although I could deploy another interceptor troop, but it's not gonna help me at all. No, I cannot send them. Oh, this is a big, big mistake. can send no support. Wait a minute, maybe I can send these guys here. No, oh, it's too far away, I guess. It's simply too far away and I have no airport capture to send. The Nighthawks, where shall I send them? Perhaps here, but this is gonna be useless, actually. Hmm. Wait a minute, maybe the other guys can be sent. No. No, no one can be sent there, except here and here. So they'll have absolutely no air support. This is going to be very dangerous, because these um, airplanes we can knock down Q5L. They can send all of them, I think. It's going to be very, very difficult. However, I can send Nighthawks right there. Where, should, where else should I send them? Perhaps here, maybe, to destroy their infantry. They have no anti-air troops. It's going to be easy. Um, here I should set some interceptors and I'm going to completely knock that down, let's see. Right. The Nighthawks, I'm going to send them right there. And other troops. Skies. Not sure what the hell is going on with these troops. Perhaps I should assign them here or something, but it's no signal at all. Um, this is, these are other guys that I'm going to send right here. Oh, 
Wait, and I'm having here these thunderbolts that aren't able to do much. As well as these guys here. Perhaps we deploy next turn or something. Well, whatever. I just gotta see. So the Russians deploy another tank regiment. That's just wonderful. And I should fight a battle here in Kilchu and as well as in other three sectors. And then I'm gonna deploy perhaps some more troops. So let's start a battle in Kilchu and see what we have. This is gonna be epic. Oh, deploying points 1800. I mean, take a look at this. Two tank regiments that are absolutely epic. They have, let's see, they have 12 T90s, 24 T72s, 12 T72 PU, and so on, including Chinese tanks. So it's gonna be, my god, it's gonna be epic. Uh, it was good that I didn't set any air force because they have a lot of uh, anti air troops. They have plenty of infantry, one of the most elite infantry, and many other troops. What I got is a lot of um, Marines. And I'm gonna have very few deployment points, so this is gonna be very, very sad. They will, of course, capture everything they've got, and I'm gonna have to defend here. It's gonna be incredibly um, difficult to defend here. Let's launch the battle. I'm gonna try to focus on um, the Marines and on, on infantry, not on tanks, because I know that they have tank superiority, not much they have a lot of them, and they really have a huge tank superiority. Now, let's see. How am I gonna defend here? This guy is here, and I could also bring in some other guys to hide. Such as, for example, in the middle. Oh, this is gonna be very dangerous. Yeah, I think he will be the best. Now, let's send the Marines, and let's send them most of them. I should also send some anti air troops. Actually, let's send some of them. And send a lot of marines if I can. I'm also having these anti tank troops. I also send. They are also Americans. Unfortunately, since I don't have enough, enough points to deploy all the marines that I want, this is just bad. Very bad, actually. Anti air troops more. Yeah, another two of them. Because they are very, very important. Even more anti-tanks. Even more marines. I still have some an other anti-tank troops that I'm gonna deploy. Um, they should be able to lose a lot of troops, I guess. And I think that's that was it right now, actually, let's deploy some of the cargo units that also be so important. Right. 20 points left. I'm gonna be able to bring in some tanks, perhaps I'm gonna be um, lucky enough. I have no anti-air anti troops. This is gonna be absolutely devastating for me. No anti-air troops. This is gonna cost me a lot. Anti-tank troops, yeah, that's good. Um, yes, I'm not going to deploy them. So let's start the battle at a very s slow speed. For a taxi right. That's right, I captured that. That's good. Order, so let's try to hide where I can. And new order, sir. I think I have just uh, deployed all of them. So, any anti air troops that I have? Probably nothing. No. I will deploy the tanks. Oh my god, I have the Abrams here. This, is, this should be really cool, but if they will send their. Oh, here they come. They hold spotted. Oh man, this is gonna be difficult to sell. No, let's see. Let's deploy. No, no, no. Let's deploy uh, one of the tanks. Let's see. 
fool the old spotted man. So, I'm just gonna increase the speed a little bit. They're already attacking with their tanks, perhaps I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Just gonna see. They have captured only two sectors or something, but they are completely annihilated my troops. Now, uh, hopefully we'll lose some tanks. T90 is already attacking with their T90s. They are resisting so much, look at them out there, firing, incredible. This T90 has been destroyed, two T90s have been destroyed, they are still attacking with many of them. Oh, here they come, no, they didn't come, I thought they would come with their uh, anti, anti air with their air force. Let's deploy another tank. Let's bring all the way up, let's see there. Oh my god, the first attack has been destroyed, this is extraordinary, I couldn't even... Oh shit! I'll bring it down. So nothing happened with them. To them, they will completely knock me up, knock me down with their artillery and with their uh, air force. I'm sure about that. Now they are sending even more infantry, and any other tanks will follow. Ah, oh, it's going to be extremely difficult. Um, I could also deploy um, an Abrams spot, and I have to wait a lot of time. I'm not. I don't want to wait that much time. So let's send another tank. Let's say there. Until they will come, the infantry is gonna take some time. Also bring another tank, or perhaps reconnaissance troops such as this one here that seem to be so poor. But anyway, I'm just gonna deploy them. Now Marines against Russian infantry, I think. It's firing tremendously, so their air force is still attacking, and I have no anti. -air. I just don't understand how my god, I don't have any anti, any anti air force troops. Right, it's silent now. Let's bring in another tank, perhaps over another scout troop. There, but actually, I should bring more tanks. Actually. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do nothing. Oh man, that was such a huge mistake, and I have no interceptors and nothing here, no anti-air force. This is just so bad, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it until the end of the battle. Anyway, let's try to resist. Oh, I'm also having some anti tank, oh, that's good, but they will fall prey to the, to the air force, I think. Wait a minute, let's see if I'm gonna have, no, I don't have any. Let's send their aviation again, oh, this is such a big, I'm not sure how, instead I didn't think that they will attack with these troops, I just don't get it. using their artillery, but that's okay. Let's increase the speed a little bit until the next tank attack, and here they come, their T-72s and T-90s and so on. I'm gonna wait to get some more money, perhaps in order to deploy more points on to deploy a neighborhood. So let's see this tank attack here, they seem to be light. Light. Oh, that's right, one has been knocked down. Here they come, T-72. This will be knocked down as well. Perfect. Oh shit. Come on. Oh perfect. An airplane has been knocked struck down. That's great. Let's send another cargo. Because this cargo seems to be so important. Yeah, let's send it there. And I'm gonna still wait to send an ape. No, actually I'm not gonna send an apron, so I'm gonna send also a poor tank like that. Send it right there. What do, you, what do you say, send a Cobra? Yeah, let's send it right there. Oh, here comes the T-90s. This T-90 should be... Oh my god, they'll completely destroy me. But if they'll come too close, then they will pay a lot. 
Oh, they have destroyed. And take a look how much resistance. These T90s are absolutely incredible. That's it. Completely knocked down and the helicopter will be struck down or something like that. What the hell happened? That's right, another airplane down. Oh, that's just perfect. So, once again, firing the Cobra, I think will be struck down. This one should also be struck down, I guess. What the hell? How the fuck did it manage to escape? Oh, this is fucking pathetic. Cargo units seem to be... Oh, the Cobra has been destroyed. They are attacking now with their... Well, I'm gonna need even more cargoes to send, so let's send them by there. Hopefully they will manage to arrive. Let's just send another tank. Oh, I'll be able to deploy an Abrams, I think. If I can wait a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a little bit and I'm gonna deploy an Abrams. These troops are, tr are having anti-tank uh, rockets and they will destroy my tanks very soon enough. Well, yeah, that's it, they have destroyed these BM-3 Russian troops. Let's send the Abrams. Hopefully, we'll arrive. Yeah, right, perfect. I'm losing so many troops, including BTR-80 is also attacking. Listen, these troops right here in the woods. The Marines are again firing. Attacking with even more anti-tank troops. Oh, what the hell was that? Don't have any rockets anymore. So I'm gonna have to deploy my whole cargo troops. I think I'll have so many of them. They have to strike with another airplane, I think. They will come with their tanks, another T90, so it's gonna be tough. I can send the Abrams a little bit forward. And I'm gonna send another tank right there. T90 is arriving, they are already have discovered me. This is gonna be tough here. Well, functioning and destroyed. There are so many T90s and this is just wonderful. The Abrams is already firing, but I think it's gonna be struck down by these anti-tank troops. Such an incredible troops, really. What the fuck? What the fuck is firing like this? This is incredible. 12 minutes left, they are sending even more troops, more tanks. They are still losing a lot, but this artillery can be perhaps completely knocked down. with another T90s, that's okay. Let me send another tank here. So with their infantry. This T90 is firing... Oh, they have destroyed one of my Ab Abrams. Shit. That's why I shouldn't, I shouldn't deploy the Abrams because it's too dangerous. I think they've lost all of their T90s. I don't think they have many of them left. Tank further. So there's this one. Oh, let's see. Ah, I still have 23 of them, so it's gonna be alright. Anti-tank troop has been destroyed. Oh, the Russians really have lost a lot of troops, I have to say. What is going on here? Detract. Okay, whatever. Get 
is to also useless right now. It's hiding right there and it's in you. Troops, because they are so important. What is it you want this time? Yes, well. And... I have another Cobra and I also have... I'm having a lot of helicopters. Yeah, let's deploy one of their helicopters right here, although they'll perhaps try to knock it down. Right. Perfect. You've got something for me? Let's bring it right there. So nothing's gonna happen. At your service, sir. Okay, we'll get there. They're taking with their infantry. A cobra has arrived. Another cargo in there. Here they come with their anti-tank troops. Try to knock down my tanks, perhaps. That's right. Oh, what the hell was that? Some destroyed. That's right. This Cobra did a great job. There was some, perhaps their air force that struck them down. One tank destroyed. I mean, their um, artillery really is tough. They could have one artillery and they are destroying my all of my troops, perhaps. Oh my god, so many of them. This Cobra is also firing, but it's stunned. Gonna send another helicopter, though. Yeah, one of these super cobra, I'm gonna send it. So I'm gonna have a little bit of time. Come on, goddammit, move. Yeah, let's try to send it there. Losing, however, so many, so much infantry, seven minutes left. And the battle is extraordinary. I'm managing to defend absolutely incredible. Now the T-90 is arriving. This is going to be very dangerous. Let's send another anti-tank troop, perhaps. Perhaps we'll have a Humvee. Perhaps we'll have no chance against this T-90. Oh my god, they have lost so many troops. Now. This T-90 here should be destroyed, but my troops are completely useless against it. Oh. Hardened. Come on, put it down. Oh, it has been destroyed. Wonderful. Let's deploy another tank. It's not gonna be easy, of course, but... The Russians are losing, I think they have lost an entire tank regiment here. This is gonna be cool. Oh shit. Come on, hurry up. Operas will be destroyed, but maybe not. Oh my god, they have lost so many units. This is epic. Now listen to another tank as quickly as possible. the a little bit forward. With their infantry I have to say they are managing to do a great job. It doesn't really seem that I will be able to... Oh, they have captured this territory here. It's going to be a little bit difficult for me. Ah, that's okay actually. Another cargo in there, hopefully they will do good. Right, another M60 arriving. And perhaps another anti-tank. 
LAV, maybe two of them. Let's try to just bring them up. Cobra has done such a wonderful job here. I knew you wouldn't leave us idle long. I don't have any. Oh, I can have to reinforce those troops right there. Oh shit. Can deploy the last Cobra right here. Hopefully, they will not send even more air troops. They are sending actually even more infantry. I'm trying to get this with their infantry. That's okay. I'm trying to take these guys out. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That was tough. Perhaps another helicopter would also do a great job. 70s, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit and I'm gonna send it right away. They have also lost a lot of infantry. But I send it right there. This scout troop, as well as this anti tank troops right there. They are trying to capture the buildings one by one and. Um, Luckily for me, the time will be out and they will not be able to do it, but they have enough troops to do it, theoretically, I mean. I'm not sure why they are not sending their anti their aircraft. Oh, here comes another T-90s. Oh my god, I hope this is gonna be the last of them. a little bit. Send another helicopter. It's incredible how I'm being able to resist here. But this will not last much, that's for sure. I am almost completely destroyed. This T-90, look at that. So that's anti-tank troops. I mean, what, a f what an incredible advance. One minute left and I should be able to resist a little bit. It's another tank, simply because I have so many tanks. Oh yes! I have destroyed another T-90s. These marines are absolutely extraordinary. They are incredible, really. They are taking out their infantry. But they have lost, I mean, so many troops, that is extraordinary, unbelievable. But they're coming by foot because they have absolutely no chance to do something else. So I'm gonna send another tank right there soon enough. Perfect. This Cobra, I'm not sure, will be able to drive. I mean, it has absolutely no guns left, so I should uh, retreat it right there. This one still does have something, this one also has something, so I can stay there. I mean, I, I almost totally defeated them. This is incredible. There is another tank, and 10 seconds, and it's all over. These guys have a lot of ammunition. And it's over. Oh man, let's see what happened. So, draw. Loss of one cohesion. They have lost a lot, but. So let's see, kills. 3,800 points. This is 1,700 points, so double. They, they lost double more than I did. 
which is really cool. Actually, what I've lost is actually a lot one command points, a lot of uh, support troops. It's not really a big problem. But I have lost, I think, a lot of T-90s. You see how many of them they have. This is most important. They still have six T-90s, so this is going to be a problem. 21 P-72s and plenty of other tanks. ZTZ-59, they have lost eight of them. 69 is this is the best thing, and T-72s. So next turn is, should be a little bit better. I also lost a Sukhoi-27 and a, a Q-5L, which is good. And I have lost a lot of cargoes, actually not really a lot. One command point. Two anti-air troops, this is gonna be a problem. I will definitely need to deploy some anti-air troops here, as well as some infantry. Um, 10 tanks and 1 Abrams, which is really bad. And a lot of anti-tank troops as well, as one helicopter as well. So it was pretty much balanced, I like to say. Now let's see what they will do next. No, actually, I will have to do the move, actually. So... They still have so many troops. Um, they will perhaps arrive with these anti-air units, and they still have this uh, tank regiment here. It's still gonna be dangerous. What I'm gonna be able to do is to... To leave this... Armor Richmond here. Maybe I can. No, I cannot arrive in there. That's a bit of a problem. But perhaps I will be able to deliver these guys right here and sign them right there. Anyway, I could send this Royal Australian Regiment, perhaps, with their tanks and everything they got, infantry. Although perhaps they would or to send this Nighthawks, that would also be something cool. Although they will send their uh, Sukhoi 27, it's gonna be. I imagine they have anti-air troops for sure. It's gonna, it's gonna still be a little bit dangerous here. But I really need some anti-air troops. I'm gonna have to deploy some anti-air troops right away. And the best anti-air troop to deploy would be this German. Or maybe, wait a minute, maybe I can send from here because... I said this is not this Korean anti-air right here and I'm gonna deploy the German anti-air troop convoy because it's so important so right away up to the north these guys cannot assist anything anyway this anti-air convoy actually, although it seems that that yeah they are extremely poor but they are still good to deploy they are still really good the Cobras are also okay and the armor regiment still have some initiative of the troops as well. They will also lose a lot of cohesion, but they will still have a lot to deploy and so on. So still gonna be a tough battle right there. And um, I could of course deploy no I actually I cannot deploy anymore. Attack helicopter squadron perhaps deploy this one or perhaps this friend note 24. Um, this airborne supply convoy this also would be good. Let's see the Japanese. Yeah, they will also be interesting enough. Airborne supply convoy. Should deploy it here and should send them. Yeah, well, where the hell should I send them? Send them right here. Okay. And assign them there. And then I'm gonna send them a little bit farther, but not that farther. Whatever. So now another two um, very very easy battles will take place on again the Japanese that they have very light troops actually and so this is what we have here we we still have I think. I'm not sure where are those Abrams. Yeah, they're here in Combat Assault Battalion. 
one has been destroyed and as I said they still have plenty of troops to deploy and next path they also still have a lot of infantry although they have lost a lot of troops this BMP3 this is extraordinary PTR80 is nothing but they still have 20 BM3 BMP3 which are complete uh, very dangerous anti-tank troops so I said I should deploy more infantry as well as these anti-tank troops so it's gonna be very tough now let's fight the battles here and then I'm gonna end this uh, session right now a lot of things have happened and a lot of things will happen next turn as well so I'm gonna fight the battle here in one gene and I'm gonna try to intercept this helicopters aviation regiment belonging to the Chinese should be immediately, immediately destroyed I have a lot of points, yeah, that was just something to expect, and I'm gonna capture everything, so let's launch the battle. The interceptors are the most important. Right, I should also capture the Delta, although I should be careful. I'm gonna deploy the most, um... Oh my god, it's so many of them. Um, the most of these command forces everywhere actually one hundred yeah this is also cool right right as well and further on Right as well, here I'm gonna have to deploy a tank, because otherwise it's gonna be dangerous. Yeah, that's right, let's deploy there and so some anti air troops. This one has been captured from the. Well, it's gonna be incredibly tough. Let's deploy a few infantry just in case, of course. Anti air troops and the tank troops, so maybe seals, whatever. It's gonna be enough. Let's see more anti air troops as well. Let's see where, let's say, right there. And some other heavy troops. It should be a very easy battle, this one. Just gonna have to. A little bit to see how am I gonna deploy the troops. Right, just in case they will attack with their um, helicopters, so they will have a huge surprise. Also, having some heavy tanks, actually, I'm not gonna use. Okay, actually some infantry here would also be good. Right. So, this is okay, this is okay, this is here, I think okay. Actually, no, wait a minute. I want to deploy some more anti-air troops here. Many of them. this is incredible. So many troops here to deploy. Right, so I think right now this would be alright, and here I like as well in the air troop if I'm gonna have. Yeah, that's right there. And well, I guess that would be it. And oh, and I forgot to deploy the. This is gonna be a little bit dangerous. Whatever, let's start the battle at a very slow speed in order to deploy my men. Right, perfect. Here as well. Oh. 
perfect here. Yeah, I have already kept that sector. I'm gonna try to bring the interceptors because they are the best. Oh, but they are extremely expensive. Yeah, anyway, let's bring one of them at least. It's been a bit normal. Also bring some helicopters, scout the area as well as some I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Bring KF 16C because they will try to defend. This is understandable. Right. Already attacking. Oh, they are completely useless. What a bunch of bullshit. What the fuck they are doing? Come on. Ah, oh, god damn it. Take a look at these idiots. Oh, this is so fucked up. One has been struck down. God damn it. Come on, what the fuck they are doing? With so many anti air. So many interceptors, they are not able to bring down a helicopter. Jesus fucking Christ, how fucking pathetic they are. This is incredible. Now let's send as many troops as possible. Let's say from here. Ah, this is so fucked up. This is incredible. Wait. I mean, what the fuck they are doing? I should just be able to knock them down. I'm gonna still have some anti air troops. They are simply hiding. So how the fuck am I gonna supposed to bring them down? Look at this, this bullshit is firing completely missed. Completely wrong. Come on, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Send them all here. Jesus, man, this is so fucking annoying when I'm losing troops like that, just... Alright, let's increase the speed a little bit, because this is already extremely fucking annoying. I mean, look at this, this... Take a look at this stupid interceptor. What the fuck are you doing, you fuck? Range helicopters... Whatever, there doesn't seem to be something, you know, too much. Whatever, let's send every anti-air force unit that I have. They'll really be very important, I guess. I have only one left, and then that will be all. More tanks, perhaps. Ah, oh, come on, what the fuck they are doing? God damn it. Ah, oh, you fuck. This is fucking bullshit. Wait a minute, I have an idea actually. Let's deploy all of these bullshits and let's hunt them down like shit. They'll be knocked down by... yeah, they are completely knocked down. They'll be completely knocked down by their forces. Alright, now this aviation is completely fucking useless. Gonna send it even further a little bit. No, this is completely bullshit. Just a big fucking bullshit. So let's send even more tanks and let's try to advance with all the anti all the air forces I've got. From here, and I'm gonna bring in every troops that I have. Gonna bring absolutely everything like that, as I said. Should be able soon to knock them down and immediately knock them down. Hopefully. So, let's at 
spawns a little bit and let's really completely annihilate them. I will get bored of, of this shit. Oh, they will just defend there. So they are already starting to lose a lot of um, points, which is good. Oh man, they have been completely destroyed, but I have lost so many troops, I have to say. Aviation regiment destroyed, let's see. Oh, for fuck's sake, I have lost so many troops. And... I've missed this F-16s, I've lost so many of them. And I have also lost a lot of tanks, but still I still have a few. Infantry regiment. Yes, I actually still have a lot of them, including anti air troops and so on, whatever. And there is only another one sector here against their infantry that, as I said, is extremely poor and I should completely knock it out with the troops that I have. So, this is gonna be it. So let's go, let's fight the last battle. So I'm controlling everything here, which is good. I have, unfortunately, very few command points. But I'm gonna try to control, as I said, everything. And this one I'm gonna do. So let's launch the battle. I have all the forces available. Perhaps I'm gonna lose some troops, but it's gonna be alright. It's not gonna be a problem. Right, so I'm not gonna need this. This one is a Mitsubishi. I'm not sure even where to hide it, actually. I'm not gonna... I think I'm gonna just bring out some other troops. Such as these guys here. So let's capture this one. Perhaps I'm not going to be able to capture all the sectors, but this will, this will still be okay. So let's see. Just a few troops here to deploy. Including French troops, which are one of the best. Right, that will be enough there. Foxtrot I should be able to capture here as well. Kinda need however VAP. Gonna bring this troop right here. Tanks. I have plenty of them. South Korean tanks. It's gonna be enough, that's right. Then the Bravos Bravo 3. I should also capture it. Alpha Kesong as well. Let's capture the Kesong. Ah, for fuck's sake. Whatever. Let's deploy all the French units. Right. And... So... Right. Now, let's bring another heavy troop here. Perhaps this one, although I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be out of... Um, points. But I'm gonna bring it right away. And just some tanks as well. Right, right there. I'm not sure they will be able to capture that. Whatever, let's see. Let's capture this as well. With another... Oh, well, no, wait a minute. Let's capture with some Japanese troops. It's gonna cost me a lot. But it is what it is. I don't have any more French troops. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just gonna deploy there. And unfortunately, Foxtrot will, cap will be captured by the enemy, but that will not be a problem. So, let's start the battle at a very slow speed. Ten points. This one. Soon the time will come for me to bring in new troops. This is what I can bring, actually. Oh yes, I'm gonna bring them right away. And yeah, the tanks, plenty of tanks, actually. That's just great. Let's bring the tanks in because they have nothing. Increase the speed a little bit, cause just I have just have the the feeling that it's going too um, too difficult. Yes, a tank, a French tank, of course. So let's go. Right. So there are three places to deploy. One, two, three. All right, that's perfect. That would be great. They have already captured something. No, actually, let's go too fast. So, three tanks, that's right. Did they come with their helicopter? Let's see if I have any. Oh, yes, I do actually. Oh my god, this is really... Take a look at this anti-air anti units. So here they come. I will have to be careful. Sending on infantry, which is okay. Oh yes, now I'm gonna need my F111. Japanese. Wait a minute, I can bring in. Perfect. Perhaps all of them will be destroyed now. They have decided to attack from here. Which is, from my point of view, okay. Don't have any other um, offensive troops as far as I'm concerned. Let's bring other troops right there. not moving, they will be completely annihilated. Oh, yes. That's advance. Just as I thought, they will attack with their tanks, that's for sure. some anti-tank troops. Right, they're already starting to lose some units. So 
As I said, this should be easy. Still take some time. So let's completely knock them off. Oh man, that was a big one. Is a big one. The sky is ours. They didn't fire. Check is completed, ready to go. All right, perfect. Gonna have to bring down those helicopters. That's right, perfect. So I'm gonna be able to completely destroy them. and tank to capture that area it's gonna happen very soon there you go now as i said they send this guys here to capture it let's see right there great now let's advance as quickly as possible and let's capture everything that's been left. They are almost completely destroyed, I have to say it. So last. Right, perfect. Absolutely no chance. 
they had really absolutely no chance. When the fourth infantry regiment belonged to the Chinese and been completely knocked off the map, just as I expected. Now they will definitely send another one from Pyongyang or from here or from right from China. Actually, let's see. Maybe I'm gonna be able to invade China here, and the Chinese will not be able then to deploy any more troops. This is gonna be interesting, actually, if this will happen. So with an armor battalion and an uh, airborne infantry troop. Because they have only an infantry regiment here and a flying dragon whatever regiment so it should be somehow easy if I'm gonna be able to do that. You know, send reinforcements from here. Um but I can see that next turn. So that was it right now. It was very, very um nice to fight these battles. Unfortunately there are only four turns and everything will be over. But this is what it is. And so I'm gonna fight next turn and I'm gonna try to attack the Chinese fleet. I'm gonna try to sneak and capture this Chinese sector in order to block the Chinese to send even more troops and regiments and so on. Although they might send from here, from Queen Bao, might also be possible. And the next turn I'm gonna also try to completely knock this um, two magnificent or three tank regiments belonging to Russians and Chinese or North Koreans, whatever. Yeah, this belongs to uh, China and this to Russia. No, actually, this one belongs to North Korea. This one belongs to Russia. And the Russians didn't send yet the T-90s, but they will definitely send it very soon. They also have another one here. So it's going to be very tough for Americans to resist there. We are going to try to retreat them here and to refit them here in Tankong, because this is possible. Uh, the Chinese might also attack me with this magnificent tank regiment here. They could attack me. They have here another tank battalion with T-90s belonging to um, North Korea with whom they could attack here and they will be a little bit problematic, I'd say. But not a big problem because I'm also having the Panzer Regiment here and the Parachute Regiment. And next turn I'm gonna also deploy even uh, one more land force. And that would be either this armor battalion or this uh, tank battalion belonging to. This is, however, too expensive. It's also an artillery. Um, I think I'm going to deploy this um, armor battalion belonging to South Koreans. Also, I have this helicopters that could also deploy. So it's just going to be very, very interesting to watch next time. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to meet you next time on this one campaign. Bye bye.